Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family, and happy Sunday to you all. I don't know when y'all are watching this, whether it is in the morning, afternoon, or evening hours. But it's in the morning for me because I'm trying to crank out some videos for y'all to have some type of uh, feel good or curiosity on your favorite celebrities here and there. But of course, we're going to be talking about, you know who, Tevin Campbell. Yes, he was out on the blogs. He was out on the Advocate, BET, Billboard. I am getting it from Billboard. And we have a lot of people, uh, YouTubers are doing it, Jasmine Brand did a segment on it, so go over there and check her out, okay? But yes, we're talking about the child star, uh, the child phenomenon, the young man who worked with Prince as well as Quincy Jones, and that tells us a lot, right? That tells us a lot, and again, he was a child star back in the day, and you know what pretty much happened with those child stars? They got turned out, and some of them didn't make it. Uh, some of them are pushing up daisies at this time. Rest in peace, rest in peace. And then we have some that just struggled along the way until they came to, uh, and Usher was a part of that too. You know, Usher was a child star and a lot of things had went down allegedly with him and P. Diddy. Okay, I'm sure y'all seen some of the things. I don't know how Lou Rawls plays a part in this, but I'm not saying he was a part of this uh, era with Tevin and I'm not saying he wasn't, okay? But if we look at his younger years, Kevin didn't look like he was gay, even though he's trying to claim that in his coming out story. Kevin did not look gay, did not act gay back there in the day, okay? He was on Prince of Bel-Air, flirting around with Ashley, okay? He was just doing the darn thing, and he looked like an all-American black boy, okay? That, that could sing, okay, and entertain us, you know? He was back there, uh, as Michael Jackson was back in the day, he was back there in the 80s. Prince got a chance to work with him as well as Quincy Jones. Now, we know Prince was a little androgynous. He could look good as a female. He could look good as a male. It was you, up to you to say which one he was. All right? Quincy Jones, Tupac told us about him. Y'all remember the booty cheeks man that wanted to get down, wanted Tupac to suck his, okay? All right. Oh, he wanted to suck Tupac's. I don't know however it went, but it is what it is. Then we had Tevin Campbell, uh, early part of this year, called his, well, not this year, but in 2020, he wanted to get on Jaguar right about saying he wasn't this, he wasn't that. Okay, but he did not come out and sue her. As well as P. Diddy, Mary J. Blige, Jill Scott. Um, I'm trying to think, if, was it anybody else I left out? Jaguar was a fellow artist up there as well. She worked with some of the good people like Jay-Z, uh, Alicia Keys, and all that. But she had backstories on Alicia Keys too. All right. Yes, you know the story she put out on P. Diddy, and if anybody don't know, P. Diddy ain't got to come out and say it. We already done confirmed, okay, in our minds, okay, from what we had to deduce by logical information. And then with his bout with never getting married to his uh, love, he had children by Kim Porter, you remember? And she's going to write a tell-all book, and we see how that happened. She's pushing up daisies, okay? And like I said, Jack Roy had a lot to say about the entertainers in the news that we can use. And she, you know, told y'all he was acting like a, uh, well, he wasn't acting, he was actually a street walker. Out there in uh, Hollywood Boulevard, he was, you know, getting his money that way because they had strung him out. And, you know, sometimes we go through uh, stringing out or being strung out out there doing, you know, illegal things and making ourselves look better than we were. You know, then he looked home the style. Yes, he did. Uh, and some more pictures I had put in here that seemed like he was having a struggle out there. Okay, but like I said, if you want to believe Jaguar, right? Or you don't want to believe her, but it's being said out there. And with Tevin Campbell coming out 
as coming out saying that he's now gay, it gives one pause. It gives one to sit back and pause. All right. But when I saw him, I don't know if it's like maybe two or three months ago, he had did a, uh, what do you call that? Um, a reel or he was filming himself at a club or a lounge or something with his, some, some of his friends on his uh, site. Uh, I think it was Instagram, and he had his fingernails painted black. I said, okay, he don't, he don't cross over, and pretty much he's uh, letting us know without letting us know, you know what I'm saying? But now he's come out and say he's embracing his gayness. I'm like, okay, only if we can get Usher to come out, only if we can get P. Diddy to come out, even though we know, uh, hey, it just is what it is. When you get down deep and dirty with Hollywood, you're going to be strung out on something. Whether it's illicit drugs or, you know, you done found a new way of living your life other than what we thought you should have been living your life uh, about and whatnot. Uh, or ass, it just is what it is. And he needs to come out, right? And to tell up a lot of stories of who he had ran through in the industry. But people love to go. They want to go get their music career going. They want to go get their acting career going and think they're going to be protected in some way uh, from these predators. But, mm, not necessarily, okay? The people that you're actually hanging around are the ones that's going to probably turn you out or turn you up into a situation that you're going to be looking very precarious in, all right? But, you know, like I said, embrace who you are. If you were back there that way, then you should have, you know, said nobody harms you. This is how you felt you wanted to live your life. And, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to do this story in my uh, picture version because I want y'all to see the difference, the transformation this young man made and where he ended up embracing himself. So he's still on this side of the world. He didn't take his life. He didn't do any of that thing. So he's dealing with whatever happened to him in the past, whatever traumatic experiences happened to him in the past. And he's coming out because he feels like this is the uh, person he's always was meant to be. Don't know. You know, he could be strung out still on the Uwe and then all this other stuff. Or he probably is like that, like he said. But not back here in this day, you could tell me that that young man was gay or he had gay tendencies. I'm sorry, I won't believe it. Then he was in his Rastafarian days when, you know, it was, uh, what do you call it? It was the thing to do if you want to look more African-American uh, or you were embracing your African-American side, wearing your natural hair, speaking your mind, you know, all that kind of stuff. And being true to what your nature culture was. Uh, Versus who you wanted or they wanted you to be. But yes, 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 yes. He was an all-American boy. What do you want, Mom? He was an all-American boy. And, you know, he made songs like Can We Talk? Oh, oh. What the other one was? What You Want Me To Do? But he had a string of hits. I'm ready to love you forever yeah that that song uh -huh. he made a lot of good hits for us uh adult people but you know like most times more so than ever when you come out saying you're that way gay or fruity or whatnot uh people tend to not want to support you but uh you know like i said clear the plank out your eye before you try to go on somebody else's and try to clear the plank out of theirs. Look at your own household before you go and tear down somebody else. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say because there's only one judge in this uh, realm of walking on life and that's the creator who made you, okay? But uh, yes, you couldn't tell me Cat, tell me was uh, gay. You couldn't tell me. I was like, mm -mm, nope, nope. It not. He looked too American. But looks can be deceiving, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he was a good act actor and he just us all but uh love them love them back then love them now whatever you want to do is your choice okay but i haven't really heard him making any new music if that is the case please let me know so i can go listen to a little diddly diddly you know a diddly diddly d uh who was that who did that a diddly diddly d it wasn't that joke who am i thinking of it got the tip of my tongue so who used to say diddly diddly d Heavy D, heavy D, heavy, heavy D, that's what it was. Uh, yes, and every time I do that diddly diddly, I think about uh, him being on A Different World with Jasmine Guy and Kadeem Hardison and all that kind of stuff. 
All right, but yes, he was in the acting field. He had branched out from, you know, being in a music career. He was doing a little acting thing, but somehow when they got tired of him, he got washed up. He wasn't getting jobs. Uh, he fell away to the streets in which Jack Wright was telling us he was a hall boy or whatnot. Then she knows, oh, excuse me, she knows it for a fact. And then she started trying to make ways uh, in this social media realm, trying to tell people uh, straight out what was going on. But a lot of people didn't want to believe her. Now, look at, look at, look at who comes to pick it, uh, calling himself coming out as gay and embracing himself. So I guess we have to say Jack Ward was right. Now, she was right about this one. It's damn so plausible she could be right about the rest of them, okay? Now, I don't know how far Prince took it, you know, with showing him a new way of living because, you know, he was androgynous. He said, um... Uh, you don't know if he's a man or a woman. <laughs> you have to be involved with him and he have to be involved with you. But I'm pretty sure he was like, look at here, look at here. Don't tell nobody. Okay, you tell, then something else is going to happen and you're not going like to like it at all. But I can pretty much show you the ropes uh, for your music career if you just stay with me. Okay, stay under my tutelage. Tutelage. Wait a minute. Tutelage. And I will be uh, your mentor. Okay, now, of course, we had the situation, like I said, with Jaguar Rice, Phil and T on P. Diddy, as well as, um, what is this, that one name? Uh, is it, um, Quincy Jones. Okay, yes, Quincy Jones and that Tupac thing. Like I said, hey, she was right there with him. She was right there in the midst of all the wannabes and who's who's of black celebrity up there in the music industry as well as in the acting field. So, if anybody would know that would cause and have credibility, it would be Miss Jaguar Wright. Okay, so like I said, people were dogging the hell out of her. They were coming for her left and right and looky, looky, looky. Who comes out and says, oh, I am this way. <laughs> but when Jaguar Wright was dropping tea on him, he had said he has lawyers on deck to keep don't keep messing with them because you know know what it is. But I like I said, she got on Clyde Davis. She got on a lot of people, told a lot of things. But, you know, sometimes you got to let a story just play itself out. Don't say nothing. People uh, are going to believe and some people are not going to believe. But we'll let it be a question mark. Okay, but that's what we'll do. We won't mess with her. We won't try to get rid of her in any form or fashion. But then that will be a mid and guilt. You see what I'm saying? So they dealt with the situation as everybody keep their mouths closed. And this story will blow over. At least that's how I took it. But okay, guys. That's how I, want, I wanted to come on and say, uh, look at the transformation from when he was a child prodigy in the music industry as well as in the acting. How he ended up, uh, well, he went through that spell where they said he was a little call guy and all this kind of stuff. Jack Wall Wright was trying to break it out. And he was around a lot of people that are questionable with that sexuality. Uh, and their promiscuousness, uh, meaning him, that we just saw Usher, and getting all these people exposed to, you know, dangerous, the diseases and this, that, and the third, okay, allegedly. But, uh, yeah, I just want to come on, give you all my pictures. I haven't forgot about y'all. I know y'all like to see me in person when I be breaking down my stories and giving y'all a little taste of how I do it. This is how we do it, yes. This is how we do it. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, it's like y'all got me in person, then y'all got me behind the scenes. I'm just a one multifaceted woman, okay? That's what I'm saying. So y'all need to definitely be subscribing to my channel, telling other people to subscribe to my channel and like my videos. It gets me out there and I get to share a little more love and I get to build a family. Yes, but as usual, you know, I like how y'all get down in those comments, okay? And tell me what y'all thought about the particular video or subject topic we was handling today. Because you know I like y'all to come in and weigh in and give me different perspectives of how I could look at this situation you know what i'm saying and you know you all just tripping out on me i'm tripping out on you out on you all and we just doing it how come fine but yes honey kevin we showed them black fingernails and you start talking a different little high pitched tone than what you should have been talking about we already knew we already knew <laughs> you had went to the uh female side of you and you brought yourself out 
Now, I understand that it was an issue with you and the, probably the people that were managing you. You don't need to come out as gay. You don't need to do that because it's half your career. Like a lot of people had said Luther Vandross was gay. But I'm telling you, it didn't matter if he was big Luther, small Luther, gay Luther, or whatever Luther. Luther was, yes, okay. A house is not a home when the two of us are far apart. It's so amazing to be in love. I follow you to the moon and the sky above. Yes, honey, you can tell me now about Luther. I don't care if he was fat Luther, small Luther, gay Luther. I don't care. He was Luther. And he was belting out those particular hits, okay? He was very much so a part of my child. And I was a 68 baby, okay? And, and what do you call that? Um, Earth, Wind, and Fire, old days. Uh, Ron Island. <laughs> hey, we were doing the darn thing. So I don't care what sexuality they was at the time. They was crooning. They were giving out good field music. And I was there. I was there for it. I'm still there for it. Probably to the day I die, I'll still be there riding for the good music, okay? And like I said, I still would listen to Tevin Campbell. Sure would. He was part of my uh, growing up stage as well. Especially, can we talk for a minute? I just want to know your name. Please, can we talk for a minute? I would even use that line when I was trying to pick up guys. And they thought, like, oh, hell, you got some game, girl. <laughs> I said, well, you know, you got to go out there and get what you want. Because it ain't nine times out of ten, it ain't coming to you. So why not be proactive? Okay, yes, I did. I ain't wait for guys to come talk to me sometimes. I really wanted to talk to her guy. Shoo Your girl was down there throwing her lines, okay? I was throwing my lines, okay? But that's all I got for this video, guys. I ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.